Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And tonight I wanted to talk to you about a subject which has to do with in an ideal world. In an ideal world, if you were a full-time trader, a part-time trader, what would you prefer? Would you prefer trains that have an extremely high risk to reward? Or would you prefer a system or a strategy that has a very high percentage of win ratio? Well, in an ideal world, you'd have both. You'd have lots of trades that worked, more trades that worked that didn't, and, and every single trade having a huge risk to reward move. Now, what do I mean by risk to reward? I mean for every dollar you risk, you make what? 50 cents a dollar, $2, $3, $10. That's what a risk to reward is. The one thing is that recently, just this year, I've been going over January even through even through this month and looking at the stocks that I picked and rated of all the gaps that I see whenever I get up in the morning and look at gaps. And remember, I like to focus on the shorts. I will prefer to short. I only really go look at bullish gaps if I don't see a bearish gap. And I was thinking in my mind, you know, about what is the most important thing. Obviously, in an ideal world, you want to have something that has both. But we can't always predict how big of a move a stock is going to make on the day in the live day. In other words, I get up in the morning and I rate my gap, and I have the targets, but I might rate my gap at 8.15 in the morning. And then by the time the open comes at 9.30, it might be past the target to the next target of the original rating that I made at 8.15. And therefore, then the move in the day is not as big of a move as I want it to, because I don't get in the trade in the, in the pre-market. I just don't do that. I, I stay away from that. I only trade the live day. I feel like there's more control. It's better for my risk. It's a safer, more controlled environment. So I only trade from 9.30 on. But some stocks have huge moves in the live day, and some have medium moves in the live day. Some have small baby moves in the live day. I still get the move when the stock or the gap rates 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system. So then in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, really, the percentage of winning ratio is really the most important thing, which I guess I kind of always have known, which is why I, I created the 26 points. And, and sometimes people say to me, Melissa, 26 points, that's so many things, Melissa. That's, that's just a lot. And I say, yes, it is a lot. But the reason that I made it so many points is because I, I, I want to get it right way more than I get it wrong. And in fact, I do. So one of the reasons that it's, it's, it's a great idea to learn my system and actually take the class is because 26 things is a lot of things. It's a lot of things that put the odds in your favor to actually get the trade right, to get the directional bias right at the gap, because that's a strategy of trading gaps. And in fact, it is more important to have a high win ratio than anything else. And I believe this is even psychologically, because let's just say you took 10 trades, okay? Let's say three of those trades were huge, massive winners, but seven were losers. You'd have to ride the downturns of the seven losers to get the three huge winners. And, and who wants to do that emotionally and psychologically? It, it screws up your mind. It screws up your head. But what if you had a system, which really is my system? And this is what I've been, I've been thinking about when I look back from January to now for the calls I've made and the picks I've had and the gaps I've had and looking at the, the entire way that I've been able to hone in on just one thing per day, and even last week, which is really what made me think about it. In an ideal world, if you took 10 trades and eight worked correctly in the direction that, that you would predict, which is a high percentage, 80%, and two failed, it's better psychologically, it's better for your trading account, and then it wouldn't be that important what, what your risk unit would be. Now, a risk unit is the amount of money that you risk per trade. For some people, it's $100. Some, for some people, it's $500. Maybe it's $1,000. Maybe it's $1,500. What if your risk unit was $5,000? Because you could do that because you would know that of 10 trades, eight would work and two would lose. In other words, you would win way more than you would ever lose, no matter what your risk unit is. That is the most important thing 
for my system, the most valuable thing about my 26 point rating system, the most valuable thing I think that I'm successful with as a trader, and one of the reasons why I only focus on one stock per day, and, and I think that this is so important for people out there to not only know that are trading with me, that are thinking about increasing their risk for the next earning season, but also people that are thinking about doing the class because having a high, high probability, highly rated system, even if it takes you a couple minutes in the morning to go through the points and go through the checklist and do it, even if it takes you that much time to do it, if that means that you're winning way more than you're losing as far as number of trades, of highly percentage winning trades, it, it matters because you can increase your risk unit. It's not about taking more trades. It just, it just really isn't. It's about getting to the point that you can say, I'm honing it in. I know that this works. Doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, making the money. You have a couple of losses here and there, but most of the time you're winning. And in 20 calendar days, you look back, you say, wow, I can step it up. I can start to increase my risk. And then that's how you get to the point. So I talk about risk units in my webinars, about getting one R and two R's and three R's and five R's and 10 R's. But I will tell you that every time I increase my risk personally, and I'm risking more money now, obviously, my trades than I was, you know, a year ago or two years ago or when I started, the more money that you risk, you see then how it's not as important necessarily to get 10 R's because if your risk unit is $2,500 and it only goes one R a day, which a lot of my trades go more than that, but I'm just as an example, I'm not just following me here. That would be $2,500 a day. Can you, can you live with that? Yeah, I think you could. So do you follow what I'm saying? The beauty of my system is the fact that I am honing it down on the best, best, best thing to do that day or to tell people in the room not to do anything at all that day because there isn't a good gap. And that's another reason to be in the room after the class as well, which is very important. And most people are in the room right after the class or sign up for the room after the class. So think about your winning percentage. And if you have a system that doesn't have a high winning percentage, then, then I don't understand how you could be making money. And many people aren't in the market because they don't have a system that has a high winning percentage. My system does. And I'm realizing that it, it really, it's not even that important necessarily about the amount of the R's. The importance is the high percentage win ratio, which my 26 point system gives people. And then my direction on the live day as well to say of 10 gaps or five gaps or four gaps that this is the number one pick. And this is the one that's going to work as a short. And this is the best gap that we're going to do. And we do it and so on and so forth. And so that's my information for tonight. Focus on high percentage winning trades. So you can increase your R unit and therefore make more money because after all, it, it really is about getting it right and it really is about winning and it really is about the money, you know, at the end of the day for what you make, for what you do, you want to get something out of this. You want to do something that works way more than it doesn't, which my system does. So if you'd like more information on my Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.